Hello and good evening. Hope you're all staying warm out there in Lake Orion. My name's Ian Witherspoon. I'm your host and I am Between Terminas. Welcome back to the program. Hope uh, hope you guys are ready to talk sports today. You look like Kwame in a prison cell. I look like Kwame in a yes prison you do. cell? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I don't see the resemblance. Yeah, yeah, there is a resemblance. Uh, the beard, look, it gets, it, you look like Kwame. You think so? No. No, I didn't think so either. I rocked as director last week. That will not be happening again. That should happen again. You will not be winning any Philo T. Farnsworth Awards as a director. <laughs> that will I'm happen. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh, you imagine if our show gets on the Philo T. Farnsworth Award for me directing? I will resign as host, and I will move to the mountains of Burma. To and Myanmar? Yeah. In Myanmar? Yeah. You know they're under a military dictatorship. That's fine. It's better than, better than being in a world where you win an award for directing. You'll lose your freedom. I don't have any. No, lions and neck and poops. Okay. What do you yeah, want to talk about with the Lions? Here what do you got? They won. They won? Yeah. Who'd they play? Tampa. What was the score? 34 17. How'd Stafford do? Did well. Three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Mm hmm. They count the one off that guy's hand that Joyt caught? Yeah, they counted it. Yeah, they count that one. That don't was they? wrong, yo. Well, hey, sometimes. You know what's interesting about the Lions this year? What? They're getting lucky. Have well, you ever thought the Lions would be lucky? Well, it's not Jinx's team, though, because That's true. Not they play win. the final three games. You know what I mean? They could still make, make the playoffs now. But up to this point, they've been lucky. They've been in, lucky. In certain spots. They've been lucky in certain spots. They've been spots. good, too. They've been good, too. You know, the worst they could finish is 9-7. Do I think they'll finish 9-7? No. But but you got to look at this team. What did they, you predict them to finish at the beginning of the year? Hmm. Do you remember, Ant? 4-12? Three and three and thirteen. Yes, <laughs> something like that. Mm -hmm. What do you I think? think they about that. Well, if they lose the final three games, and you know they could lose till they could lose two of those three hey, games. Hey, Chicago, it's Green Bay. Still, the Lions we're talking about. I know. It's, it's all possible. It's all possible. Yeah, I know. It's possible the Lions go eleven and five and miss the playoffs. That's sickening, but it's true. That's unlikely, but it is possible. It is possible because you look at if Dallas keeps winning their games, Seattle keeps winning their games. No, even Philadelphia. The good thing about Dallas and Philly, though, is they play each other. Yeah, that's true. Are they tied for the division lead? They're both at 9-4. and four. Yeah, okay. they're both 9-4. And, and also, doesn't Seattle and Arizona play each other? Seattle and Arizona yeah, still, still play, play each other. Each other. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then the Lions play Green, Green Bay. Bay. And the Lions still play Green Bay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot on the table. You think after 13 weeks or whatever, you'd be decided here, um, or you'd, you'd, you'd have some semblance, but really there's no idea. No, there's not because it changes you, every minute. You look at what happened. You look at Chicago. I mean, like Chicago's a spoiler now. Um, yep. But you look mm -hmm. at with well, Seattle. Of course, they still got to go to Arizona. That's gonna be a tough game for Seattle. Mm -hmm. Seattle just won a game last night at Philly, which is huge for them. <sighs> Seattle's looking like they used to look. Right. They're looking good. Right. Defense. And they're and they yep. could and, th and this team could be the sixth seed out of yep. the NFC. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Because. You know, and that's gonna be an interesting matchup. I thought Arizona was left. Arizona was left for dead, and look where they're at. Back at top. They're back on top. Mm -hmm. And everybody thought Arizona was not gonna make playoffs. San Francisco just lost to Oakland. They're done. Well, Jim Harbaugh's already got his bags packed for Ann Arbor. He's not really thinking about. He could go to Oakland. He could go to Oakland. Could, could go to New York. Could go to Chicago. He could go to yeah. Miami. He can go to anywhere. Yep. Anywhere. We'll talk about that later, though. I think that the Lions got a good win. They took care of business. They took care of business. When right. do the Lions take care of business? Never. They're taking care of Never. business. Never. This year they're taking care of business. Well, they got a, they got the Minnesota Vikings this week. Mm -hmm. They got Chicago Bears at Ooh. Chicago in two weeks. Ooh. It's at home, you dope. It's not in Minnesota. And then they got, and then they're at Green Bay, which is, which that should be a Sunday night game. To be honest with you, the Lions, yeah, should have more Sunday night football games. Well, yeah, uh, I can, pu I can punch out Michaels. 
Or Chris Collinsworth. Why do you want to do that? Why do you want to do that? I'll punch Chris Collinsworth. Do you like Chris Collinsworth? No, I don't. I'm not a big fan either. Yeah. You like Al Michaels? I like him. I don't mind Al Michaels. I don't like Michelle Defoya. Yeah. Who's your favorite broadcasting tandem in the NFL? I heard, I heard, did you hear Brady Quinn with the announcing? Yeah. I thought Brady Quinn Brady actually Quinn did pretty did good. Brady Quinn did a pretty good job. I was very I shocked. Like, I, liked, I like Dick Stockton and Brady, Brady Quinn. I think Dick Stockton's god awful. Dick, He's Dick terrible. Stock, he was the one that announced the Michigan Avalanche State game. Oh, boy. Well, he won't be doing Michigan games anytime soon. But Brady uh, Quinn is debuting, debut, debuting as an announcer. He, pretty good. He was good. He he had some uh, insight uh, that a lot of players don't share, mm -hmm. which I thought was good. You know? Well, Donovan McNabb's an announcer, too. Yeah, I haven't seen him yet. Oh, I've seen him announce. He's a good announcer. Yeah? Yeah. Very good what announcer. What about Tariko and Gruden? Those are my two guys. Monday Night Football. You know, John, you know who I think is a dark horse for the Michigan job? Who? Where? Jay Gruden. Jay Gruden? Jay Gruden. Interesting. Because here's why. He's having issues at Washington. Mm -hmm. He's having, um, he's having like, because you know how the Redskin branch is, um, is doing, um, they want to endure, <laughs> endure Robert Griffin III, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, I think that Jay Gruden, he's going to get fired in his first year, five-year deal. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to become the next Michigan coach. He's developed quarterbacks. He's made... He's coach winning football, you know what I mean? I think he, it would not surprise me if Jay Gruden is the next coach at Michigan. Did you just call this by yourself or do you hear this somewhere? I think it's going to happen. Because I've, did you I've hear read it somewhere? on Yahoo Sports. You read it on Yahoo? Yes. Who wrote that? I got to figure out who it is, but hmm. I think it's Charles Rose. I haven't heard that one yet. Well, it's on Yahoo Sports, you know, any of that, um, that the Redskins brass is all fed up with Jay Gruden and he could be forced out by the end of the year. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think they're both fed up with each other. Mm hmm. I don't know who could work for the Redskins. Are they fed up with uh, RG3? Well, Dan Snyder wants RG3 to be the starting quarterback. Dan problem Snyder is, is an idiot. The problem is RG3 is not consistent. He's inconsistent. Yeah, the and, problem is they brought him back too soon, too. And also, you got Kirk Cousins there. I thought he got a bad shake over there. And then you're starting um, Colt, McCoy. Colt McCoy. And, you know, he... And Gruden thinks that Colt McCoy is the best quarterback of the three. And that's an hmm. odd thing, especially considering he had Kirk Cousins who went to Michigan State and he had Kirk and then, then he have um then he have like RG three who you drafted really high to get. You drafted the number two pick to trade it away player future. You trade away their whole hey, future. You hear, for what RG3. St. Louis did? you hear what St. Louis did against the Redskins, right? What's that? Did you hear that they took the six players that they traded for R G three? And they put them in the warm up for the As the team point captains. Toss. Team captains mm -hmm. with point toss. Jeff Fisher's fancy. Good decision. Good yeah. decision. Yeah. yeah. I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. This isn't Redskins radio, though, here, folks. We're talking Lions. Let's get back on but track. I hear you love the Redskins. What? You love the Redskins. What? Yeah. If I, I could meet you, I could. Actually, I wish I could. I could just imagine, Ian, I'm serious. I could imagine you wearing. wearing like a pig nose, you know what I mean? Just like in in one of those games. Hmm. You've worn a kitty cat suit during Tiger games. Where do you come up with this stuff? Hey, I'll show hey, you. Hey, I can't deny. Hey, the fact is fact. You've worn a stupid kitty cat costume in your Tigers game. It's a Tiger costume. It's and I was rallying costume. the team. <laughs> it was a Catman costume. It's a Tiger. Catman. I'm not going to argue with you. It's a, it was a Catman costume, and I've got several of my... Of my Shop players agree that it was a Catman outfit. <laughs> it's the truth. What do we think for the Lions with the Vikings? You got a score prediction Catman. or anything? Lions, 28-24. A squeaker? <laughs> yeah, a squeaker. squeaker. <laughs> they score a touchdown late. Do you remember what happened the last time the Lions played the Vikings yes, in Minnesota? Yes, I remember that. It was like it a, was a um, it was like, you know, eight, was there eight sacks? Yeah. They scored three points. Yeah. Come on. Sam, come on. Minnesota. You think they're going to come in our barn and put up 24 yeah. on our last home game of the year? Yes. Our last regular season home game of the year? Yes. Does Joe agree they're going to put up 24? Yes, he does. If he's Why? He's clapping. Why? Because Minnesota, because Minnesota's going to be a tough game. I think the Lions find a way to escape this game because you know you know what happened. Look at the second. Look at that last touchdown drive that in the, in the second quarter. Davikon Sue committed a stupid 15-yard penalty. Yeah. 
and then the Lions had a, had a pick in yeah. the end zone, fumbled the ball. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. gonna happen yeah. here, and then like three plays later, minute, minute, three plays later, Tampa's in the end zone. That's gonna happen here. Think about it. Think about it. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I think you're wrong. Dead wrong. But Minnesota is gonna be in that game because the Lions are gonna let them in that game. Why? Because they're not disciplined. Why? They're more disciplined. They're, they're not. not disciplined. A, they're not where they probably should they're be. They're not disciplined. They still commit a lot of penalties. They still commit a lot of penalties. Yes. But they that's tackle. Why, that's why I think they Minnesota, don't let teams run that's why the ball. I think the Lions are gonna win this game, but I think it's gonna be closer than people think. And talk some sense. Lions win 34 to 10. Three weeks of 34 points. Yes. They're that good. And the Vikings are that bad. Yes. The Bears are that bad. The Bucks are that bad. Chicago can improve. They How? got an offense. Where? Where have they been? Offside Jeffrey, Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall. Gone. What out happened? for the year. He got out for the year? He's out for the year. Oh, boy. Okay. Any other words about the Lions? Nope. What? Nothing? Nothing else from that game? Sue, should he get fined? He'll get fined. Should he? He yes. won't get fined. He'll yes. get fined. He'll get fined. We'll be right back with Between Terminas on ONTV. I'm Joanne Van Tassel, appearing on behalf of the Lake Orion Lions Club, seeking your assistance in helping us feed the needy during the Christmas holidays. Last year, thanks to your generosity and that of your neighbors, we were able to provide food baskets and gifts to over 250 families, including 70 seniors here in the Orion area. This year, we have donation boxes that are set out at various locations as shown on the screen. The type of things we are looking for, soup, canned goods, boxes of pasta, mac and cheese. Whatever you can afford, we would appreciate, and you can put it in our donation boxes. Welcome back to Between Terraminas here on Orient Neighborhood Television. Wow. Wow. Are you going to donate to the Lions Club? We'll, see we'll right be here. right back with what? the <laughs> You still think you're a director, you don't think you? You're a director. <laughs> Man, crazy. Let's go to college football. Let's go to college football. <laughs> Rub your eyes, start thinking a little bit. Hey. Should, all right, right off the bat, we know what the four teams are. You easy. Take it easy. There's an eight. There should be an eight-team playoff. Though. That will happen one day. Yes. You know what? There should be before that. What? A Big Twelve championship game. Championship game. Big Twelve. You know, I looked into it. Okay. I've been hearing rumors Cincinnati and Memphis could be the two teams that could go lead the AAC for the Big Twelve. Ooh. It makes sense. West Virginia. The problem Ooh, is that the, the membership trucked. conference membership. What? Lack of conference membership in the Big Twelve. That's what's costing them. Well, no, they didn't have a conference championship game. I know. That's cost them. It cost the Big 12. You know, the Big 12's got to – I think the Big 12 needs two more teams to expand. I think Cincinnati and Memphis make the best sense because they bring te big television markets. They bring – also, it's geographically close to West Virginia. You know what I mean? What is? Cincinnati and Memphis, Ohio and uh, Memphis, yeah. Because uh, if you look at it, you can create a division. Memphis, not so much. You can create like a north and a south division back into the old classical Big 12 days. You know what I mean? This is a conference that really needs, I think they need two more teams to get the Big 12 championship game back. I think they either need two teams, That's or they're going to fold. No, they need two teams. They won't fold because they won't of fold. Texas. They won't fold because of Texas. Because I think the two teams are going to come in, the two teams are going to be there, Cincinnati and Memphis, because those two teams are going to be their secret basketball powers. They have their their football program's not bad. Both those two teams in Cincinnati and Memphis, you know, they're not talking about them. They're basketball schools, of course. I think that Cincinnati and Memphis, the Big Twelve, would be a good. Are they addition. express interest in leaving? Yes, they have actually. Cincinnati's been expressing a lot of interest in the Big Twelve, and Memphis. They could take Memphis with them. What about the Big Ten poaching some teams? I think the Big Ten's. Content. I think the Big Ten's content. You think so? Team. Yeah, I think they are. You think so? I think there's going to be a lot of change. Who do you think is going to come? 
I think there's going to be a lot of change throughout all the conferences. Who do you think is going to change? Who? I think the Big Ten will add four more teams, and I think they're looking at Big 12 teams. They're at 14? If they get two more, it's a super conference. They're at 14? Yeah. Oh, Rutgers and Maryland God, makes 14. I always forget about Rutgers and Maryland. Yeah, Rutgers and Maryland make 14. Hmm. They should kick those two teams back out. No, they are not going to. Add be. Kansas. Kansas State. I wonder if the Horizon League is going to add Belmont. Hmm. That could, could happen. You know a team that really needs to be in there? New Jersey Belmont. Institute of Technology. No, they're not going in the Horizon. No. The New Jersey Institute no, of Technology. No, they're not going in the Horizon yes, League. Yes, they should. They're not going in the Horizon League. They're no. going to the Final Four this year. They just beat Michigan, man. They just beat Michigan. Oof. Congratulations. Whoa. Congratulations, Dan Hobbs. Congratulations, Adam Sheldon. Congratulations, whoever a Michigan fan is. You just lost at New Jersey Institute of Technology. Congratulations, Michigan. <laughs> you are a toilet, Michigan. There you go. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Sam. <laughs> Strong words. Yeah. Wow. New Jersey Institute of Technology, the only independent team, only independent Division I program in college basketball. That's why the president needs it. They are not going in the Horizon League. No. They will probably go in the American East. Yeah, that might fit. That's probably better. They, they need, need a conference, conference, yes. But the thing is, is that the bottom line is they did beat Michigan. That should help them somewhere down the line. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, then, you know, it's not my problem. I still think Horizon League should get them. They are not going they to the Horizon League. Really. They are not going to the Horizon League. No. You know Why what? do you want ge geographically? It doesn't make any sense. Sam? Hey, West Virginia in the Big 12 doesn't make sense, but look what they're... Look what, that's, um, like putting New that's like putting NJIT in the Summit League. That that'd won't be, happen. That'd be funny. That won't happen. All right, let's talk college football, folks. Let's talk Conference playoffs. realignment has a lot to do with college basketball and that's college true. football. It true. does, it but does. not today. Yeah, There's a does. playoff bracket. We got to talk about the playoff bracket. There's they made the right call with Ohio State going in. I agree. Sam? I, I think so, too, Ohio State going in. I agree with that situation, too. I think they they up their third-string quarterback, destroyed Wisconsin, have wins over Michigan State. That was their big win, I think, was when they beat Michigan State. How does Wisconsin lose 59 to nothing to a third-string quarterback? Ohio State's know. good. Ohio they're State's they're, they're good. They're that good. They're Ohio that State's very well nothing. coached. Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer is one of the best coaches. Who's in Urban Meyer? A lot of you are going to say it's about money. It's about money with Ohio State. Yeah. And that's why people in Waco and Fort Worth are very upset right now. Jim Delaney. Yep. Jim Delaney. Well, now Ohio State gets what they wanted, a date with Alabama. Yes. Our thoughts? I think Ohio State beats Alabama. No. Yes. No. Yes. Truly? How? Tell me how. Because you look at that, um, that running game. I think it's key. And their defense can keep Alabama off the field. I think if you look at it here, if you shut down Blake Sims, you shut down Alabama. And then you look at, and then you take away Amari Cooper, they got the corners to do it. And then, of course, that's why I think Ohio State can beat Alabama. I think Alabama's too much for Ohio State right now. And they're in the Sugar Bowl, right? Yeah, and the Rose Bowl is Florida State and Oregon. Correct. Oregon Donald versus Duck versus. State. We've been saying that. For Florida a while, State gets whooped. We've been saying Oregon. Florida State should lose. They haven't they, yet. Unfortunately, they haven't yet. They will lose to Oregon. Marcus Mariota, too much. Okay. So you're saying Jameis Winston has no? Jameis chance. Winston is going to be out of that team by and two in a, in about 48 hours. So you're saying the national championship game will be Oregon versus Ohio State? Yep. I think Oregon wins the national title. I think this it'll be is Alabama, finally Oregon's Oregon. year, huh? Yeah, this is Oregon's year. I think it'll I be know. Alabama, Oregon. Alabama's probably dead on favorite. Are we at all concerned or troubled by the fact that Oregon was not the number one seed? No. Why is Alabama the number one seed? Be I have no idea why. I number think Alabama's seed. number one seed based on name recognition. Being and Alabama. State. Oregon should be the number one seed, though. They Oregon lost to Arizona. Alabama yeah. lost to Mississippi Alabama State. Alabama lost to Mississippi State. Oh, no, it was Ole Miss. Was Ole it? Miss. No. Yeah, yeah, it was Ole Miss. Ole Miss is right. Well, Michigan was State it? gets Baylor. Was it Ole Miss? I thought it was Mississippi State. Yeah, Michigan, Michigan State, State gets Baylor. Baylor. Yeah, in the uh, Cotton, Bowl Cotton Bowl down in Texas. Yep. What are our thoughts on that game? Michigan State wins that in a wild one. Really? Yep. It's going to be a shootout. 
Y'all Baylor's are... going to have the home field advantage, mm -hmm. but I still got to go with Michigan State. I am not going against Country Bob. Hmm. I am not going against my boy Country Bob. Country Bob be down in Texas. I know. Let's hope he can handle it. I will not go against my boy Country Bob. All right. It's college Taylor basketball Jackson. team this weekend, and I probably will be going against them. Oakland? Oakland versus Michigan State. Palace? At Sunday at Sparty Spar at Spar at Stadium. At Sparty Stadium? Oh, not Spar Stadium. Yeah. Well, whatever. Ah, okay. So you like Michigan State against Baylor? Yep. Oh, boy. That's going to be tough. Baylor is mad. I know. Okay. And any final words? College football playoff? Nah, we gotta get this third topic going. See you next year in eight teams. Yeah, see you next okay. year. Okay. All right, we'll be back here on Between Terminas. Hello, Lake Orion. It's Anthony Termina, co-host of Between Terminas. I want to let you know of a new show called History Now. In it, we're going to talk about global, national, and political events that occur in our lifetime. We're going to also have guests and also have co-hosts as well, and also plenty of surprises. Catch us on History Now here on ONTV. Hello, Lake Orion and Oakland County. This is Sammy Termina here, talking a new show here called OA Now. We're going to talk about sports from football to basketball to volleyball to track and field to soccer, cross country, etc. here on OA Now on ON TV. <sighs> Welcome back to the program, ladies and gentlemen. Couple Terminas during that break. Hey, piss Did you, I thought, squash. Didn't you have something to say to him? You suck. Why? Piss. No. Why? You suck. Why do I suck? You <laughs> yeah, suck. you suck. Try to cut the center between me and Sam. Yeah, well, I know. He said something about your music. Hey, I know one. I know one player actually that um that um you have issues with, but uh, but we'll go over that later on. But um, let's look at a team that uh you're gonna be home me dinner with. Woohoo! That's the Detroit. <laughs> I can't beat the Sixers. <laughs> oh boy. You can't beat the Sixers. At home. At home. <laughs> you can't even beat them. You can't even beat. If I take, I would take right now. If there was a battle between, I'll go the city came back and beat them. If I would take Cross a battle between, I would take a battle between. The crew here at ON TV against the Detroit Pistons in a basketball game. <laughs> I would take the crew of ON TV over the Detroit Pistons right now. All right, who's going to be the center guarding Andre? <laughs> you? No. Oh. Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson's got to guard Johnson. Andre Drummond? Yep, okay. Yes. What about Joe Velez? Joe Velez. <laughs> Joe Johnson likes that matchup. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe Velez got Josh Smith. <laughs> Joe Velez on Josh Smith? Yep. All right, who's got Brandon Jennings? That'll be, that'll be the easy matchup. Tracy. Tracy? Tracy! <laughs> or Ian Locke, actually. Take Ian Locke. What? Ian what? Locke. He's tougher than yeah, that. He's he can handle somebody else. Yes, you're right. Who do you got? Me? Yeah. Ooh, I got Brandon Jennings, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a thing you just it. Never mind. Mm -hmm. He might break your ankles. <laughs> no, but I still think I would take, I would take, even I would take, I would even take an elementary school team <laughs> to knock off the Detroit Pistons. That's, that's how bad this team is. What about the Kentucky Wildcats? I would take Kentucky over the Pistons. They well, are I would take Anthony and Oakland University Golden Grizzlies over the Pistons. I take you. I would take a. I would take Oakview, Scripps or Walden over the Pistons. Hmm. With hmm. me coaching, you coaching Oakview and coaching Walden, me coaching Scripps. I take all three of those teams any day over the Pistons. So you don't think they're very good? <laughs> Correct. Okay. Um, I'm mean, gonna owe you uh, dinner. Yeah, because we made a bet. Yep. That I to the Dan Van Gundy, what's your take on his coaching so far? Um, well, is it a work in progress, or that he's trying to destroy the program so he to build it back? The program. The well, there's a couple things here, um, and their names are Brandon Jennings and Josh Smith, and they need to get get their out bags of here. Packed. Yep. Yeah, get out of here. Go bye bye. Get out of here. They both <clears throat> are not good. No, they're, they're not. just not good. Why Joe Dumars did that to us, I don't know. He's terrible. You think Stan Van Gundy could work a little better with Brandon Knight? Yeah. No. If that trade never happened? No. Have I... we not seen Brandon Knight this year? He's much improved. Yeah. 
He's scoring. He's passing. He's stealing. Worst trade ever for the Pistons. That was a bad one. That was terrible. That was a bad one. Bad trade. Well, there's another team in town, though, that is is doing mighty well. And uh, you were there um, to watch the game against, who'd they play that night? Dallas? Was it the Dallas Stars? What was the final score of that game? Wings Stars down at the jail Thursday night. You say it. Shut up. Was it five for the home team, two for the road team? You all right? You stretching out? That was awful. Yeah. Hey, Stars are back on track at meeting Montreal. Montreal is in a tailspin. Yeah, Montreal. They're Stakes. No, Look what happens when the Stars play a real team. Stars beat a real team. Who? Montreal. Not then they play team. Winnipeg next. They'll be back. You think about it. You think about it. When they ever play Detroit, they will turn it around. They will turn it around. You know, it's happened in 2009. Make, they should have made the playoffs that year. It happened in 11. <clears throat> and it and it certainly, and it also, you know, when you look at the Stars, they're going to be fine. They're just right now, they played a backup goalie. They didn't play Kari Lettman in that game. That Rennes was left out to dry in that game against Detroit. How many games under 500 are they? Only two. Only two? Yeah. What's Detroit's record? 18, 6, and... <laughs> Ooh, baby. Except you play in a weak league. A weak league? Weak division. Oh, yeah? Weak. What league. happens when we play Western Conference teams? You're screwed. We win. You don't win. Dallas, wait till you go. Chicago. Wait till you come out to... Wait till you come out to out west. You're going to okay. struggle. He will struggle. Okay. Yes. We'll take care of business. He will not take care of business. You owe me a, ch- you owe me a shake. I know that. And you're going to owe me dinner. Wait till April. Yeah. Wait till April. Dinner. You're going to owe me dinner. All right, fine. And we play you on the 21st. Yep. Are you ready? It's time to bury the wings. Who's, who's, whose ice are we skating on that day? Jim Lewis Arena. Jim Lewis. Jim Lewis. Joe's bro? Jim. Hey, don't worry. Stars will bounce back. <sighs> I'm not worried about it because uh, they be, stink. Stars will be fine. Stars will be fine. Yeah? They'll be fine. The, okay. the Detroit Red Wings, the same team that takes away people's money and gives them a mediocre game. Mediocre game? You heard me. <laughs> mediocre game? Yep. Nothing they're like, on the they're ordinary. Like, they're like nine of their last ten. And pussies, too. Yes. That word... <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. No, I got something for you. Don't worry about what it. What do you oh, got? Yeah, true. Don't worry about it. I, Whoopsie daisy. I got something for There's you. There's the FCC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That's the FCC on your hotline there. What do you got? You'll hit. You'll have a surprise team. Don't worry. Stars will turn around. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Any other any other hockey teams you want to nope. mention? Nope. No? Nope. Wings are at the top of the league. Ottawa fired your coach. Yeah. He yep. Former Wings assistant. Is what it is. Any other NHL thoughts? Nope. Ant, I'd go to you, but I don't want to have to bleep you out, so <laughs> maybe we won't. Hey, bottom line is, we all know that I'm a much better director than Ian Weatherspoon will ever be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody. Mm-hmm. For signing on out, okay, is, of course, Ian Weatherspoon, who's going to be a future, who's a Kansas City guy. For the Royals, Anthony Tiramina, of course, is, a, is, a, is from Denver, Colorado. <laughs> And me from Dallas, Texas. Good night, everybody. (coughs) 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 All right. (coughs) All right. (laughs) 